a model that debuted in Metarot DS in 2010 and has stuck around in most rosters consistently since. It is ELF01 Gigafant, with the kit of Break, Double Guard 300, Tank Legs, and the Leg Ability of Fortress, which passively reduces incoming damage a certain amount when guarding. Now, as a model that's been available in Metarot S since its launch day back in 2020, Gigafant is someone that you've probably seen very commonly and very easily probably at least a hundred times for anyone playing longer than, say, a month. And while at first glance he may seem rather chunky and not bring a lot to the table, thanks to most recent updates with the 3.2 patch, he definitely has seen just a little bit more possible viability across the board, whether that be as a pure set or even as mixed parts. His head of, of break is a gravity attribute skill that is very notable for one thing and one very good thing, and that is heavy punish. That means anyone that is packing two or more heavy parts on the enemy side will definitely be feeling the pain, whereas one or none, probably not as much. But it does also have a success modifier tied to Metaforce gauge at about times 1.5, so that does honestly mean you will have a much higher chance of landing a crit or the hit landing even if they don't have a lot of heavy parts to, to, to make use of the heavy punish. Both arms of Guard 300 are basic guard skills, and while I tend to grade these somewhat harshly, I am trying to keep my mind open just a little bit more thanks to the 3.2 patch on how they behave. But, simply explained, Guard 300 is a very basic guard skill that will plant Gigafant on the center line, and as long as he sits on that line, he will intercept any and all incoming blows, mitigating about 300 damage off the top, in addition to anything else further he would reduce from his leg's resist stats, or even based on what kind of leg he's using. And since he is using a tank leg, he not only will have a passive 30% damage, uh, damage reduction from any stackable attacks that, that are incoming, but, including the Fortress ability, that's, a, uh, that's an approximate additional uh, 20, 20 to 30%, I believe, on top of the passive that he's already getting. So while at first glance or a game launch, he may not have been super great at, be at the beginning, a lot of changes to the game's mechanics have made this rather chunky uh, Pachyderm even more of a possible viability on the field, whether that be as a pure set or as mixed parts. When it comes to the armor department, he definitely is packing the weight with uh, with a head HP of about 3550, arms about 4550 each, and his legs at just shy of 4500. So as expected of a defender type, he is going to be very chunky, hard to kill, and hard to break. However, it is also worth noting that with tank legs, he definitely, with all that weight, is most certainly not packing the mobility. As expected of tank legs, he's only packing about 420 in terms of the mobility department. The speed is most certainly not this pachyderm's point of view or interest on the field. However, he is packing a, a melee resist of just shy of 1400 at about 1388 and a shoot resist of 1446. So this will tie very nicely into his guard arms and his leg ability and the passive 30% on top of that that the legs will be packing. So lots of very, very high damage reduction going in favor of Gigafant in this point, making him very difficult to take down and his role of a defender a lot easier than it was at first glance. However, all this being said, I still do as a pure set score have to unfortunately rate Gigafant a pretty solid 3.5 out of 10. Even though he is absolutely packing the, the weight and the shield and the damage reduction on top of that, there are still a number of glaring weaknesses that make using Gigafant rather tricky. The first of which is, of course, his his mobility as a defender. Even though he has he is definitely packing the weight and the reduction as mentioned, the fact he's only packing just barely over 400 in the mobility means that he's definitely not going to be getting to the line quickly. And that's a very notable weakness because one of the biggest roles of a defender or shielder is to get to the line as quickly as possible and guarantee that no one can can get past them. Another big weakness of Gigafant is that all three of his parts are heavy, which means anyone that is coming in with a gravity attribute skill, which ironically he also is packing, he absolutely will go down very quickly and very easily. Even with that high damage reduction going for him as a complement, gravity attacks will certainly take this pachyderm down quickly and easily. As mixed parts, though, I do have to rate him very notably higher at about a 5 out of 10. 
While he, while the weight and the damage reduction are both very good things to consider, perhaps it might possibly be an idea to consider switching the legs out for something different that can support the weight, or maybe even using the arms on a more dedicated defender with a faster leg, such as, say, uh, Grain's leg, for instance, which has a heavy limit of 3, but is bipedal and has a much higher mobility. So even though you may be sacrificing a bit of damage reduction, having that extra mobility may give the defender a chance to kind of get to the line quicker and still do their job effectively as a defender on the team. Break on his head, even if it is a heavy part, is still always good to have, even if it is a rather chunky, chunky part among others, simply for the fact of it being heavy punish. So while he definitely can't take it from those incoming, he can definitely and most certainly dish it out.